Attack of the Underwear Dragon, written by Scott Ruthman, illustrated by Pete Oswald. Cole had always wished he could be an assistant knight to Sir Percival, his favorite knight of King Arthur's Round Table. So Cole wrote him a letter. Dear Sir Percival, I would make a great assistant knight because I am smart, I work hard, and whatever I don't know, I promise to learn. Please give me a shot. Sir Percival read Cole's letter and cried. That's right, knights cry. Knights cry at sad place and bad place. When they step on something sharp or run into a harp. When they cut onions. When they get stuck in the castle ceilings. Or when a wizard hurts their feelings. Cole had a lot to learn. He learned how to sharpen Sir Percival's spears, battle axes, and night pencils. He learned how to ride a horse and swing a sword. How to paint Sir Percival doing awesome night poses and calm Sir Percival when he awoke from nightmares about big, scary underwear dragon. And Cole learned how to get knocked off a horse, knocked down by a knight, knocked over by a princess, and knocked out of a catapult. At battle time, Cole learned how to pack Sir Percival's stuff, luggage to back, cheer for Sir Percival when the battle began, and bandage his boo-boos when it was all over. Cole loved learning what made Sir Percival a great knight. Even if he was terrified of an underwear dragon that would come to destroy the kingdom. Unfortunately, an underwear dragon came and destroyed the kingdom. All the knights fought the underwear dragon, and all the knights lost. Pretty soon, there was only one knight left. Pretty soon, there were no knights left. So Cole wrote another letter. Dear underwear dragon, I'm only an assistant knight with the round table, but I think you should clean up the mess you made, because it's not nice to mess up a kingdom that does not belong to you. I can help if you want. Love, Cole. The underwear dragon got Cole's letter and ate it. That's right, the underwear dragon can't read. Underwear dragons can't read letters, just as letters, billboards, signs for gale swords, party invitations, poem about Christians, royal decrees, bath oil recipes, moat signs, goat kinds, menus, words with ten news, or even maps that medieval hens use. The underwear dragon went to eat Cole next. When Cole saw the underwear dragon, he was scared. And when the underwear dragon attacked, Cole didn't think he would be able to do anything. But then Cole remembered everything he learned from being an assistant knight and fought and jousted and wrestled and catapulted the underwear dragon. And its underwear flew off. And so did the dragon. The whole kingdom cheered and helped Cole clean up the mess the underwear dragon had made. Back at the castle, King Arthur made Cole a knight and gave him a place at the round table. But Sir Cole just wanted to get some rest. Because tomorrow... He needed to find his own assistant knight of the round table.